I hope you are having a great day. So today I've come to this place again where I shot in my last video. Yes, you heard it right. I'm here at Valley Motors at the moment. So without any further ado guys, let's go inside and see what car I'm be reviewing today. So as you can see, I'm just standing right in front of the entry gate of the showroom. As you can see, they have a huge board written right over here. Is the Rally Motors, and just out the show, outside the showroom, you'll see a Bentley Continental GD. Over there, we have a Mercedes. Over here, we have a Mercedes S Class. So we have a kind of lineup over here also. So without any further, guys, let's move inside and see what they have got inside. So right in front, as you can see, we have a Rolls Royce. I don't know, I guess it's the ghost. So, just have a look at the spirits of XTC, guys. And over here, we are also have a Bentley. Over here, we have a 488 GTP. Over there, we have a beautiful looking BAMW M4. So, let's move inside. And I know that you guys might be wondering that what car I'm gonna be reviewing today. So, just have a look at the car that I'm gonna be reviewing today. Yes, you heard it right. This is the Lamborghini Gallardo 2014. So before I start sharing the specs of this car and all about this car, I just want you to enjoy a little montage out of this car. Go and enjoy. So I hope you like a little montage out of this car. So without any further ado, let's talk about the specs of this car. But first, let me just show you how the engine opened on this car. Let's have a look at this. Ah, it's heavy. Okay, so here we have a look at the engine of this car. Just have a look. Looks so simple and decent. But yeah, let me sure tell you what this engine is made up of. So now let's talk about the specs of this car. So the engine of this car is, you can say that it's 5.2 liters V10 engine. To be more specific, it's actually 5,204 cc. Okay, so the maximum power that this car produces is 550 horsepower at 8,000 RPM. Well, just have a look at this, like how this car looks. And the torque that this car produces is 540 Newton meter at 6,500 RPM. Well, just have a look at this car, guys. The weight of this car is actually 1500 kgs. And over here, we have the fuel tank, as you can see. So this is the fuel tank of the car. So this is actually from where you put in the fuel. So fuel tank capacity is actually 90 liters in this car, which is a lot. But talking about the mileage, guys, so mileage of this car is a bit low. As you can see, the mileage is actually three kilometer per liter in series and when we come to the highway we'll get a bit more that is not actually that much which is actually five kilometers per liter so let's come towards the dimension of this car but first thing that i want to share is that when we think of supercars and sports cars, the only thing comes in our mind that these cars are short in height but i want to tell you one thing guys these cars are short but the length of the car is exactly same as a normal uh, daily or family car let's have a look at this there's a range Rover sports over there and there's a Lamborghini but it, like the positioning is a bit too uh, like in front or back but this, the length of the car is exactly same you can say so let's talk about the dimension and first thing first guys I want to tell you that the dimensions that are looked in for in a site uh, in a website so that means the dimensions was given in millimeters so I didn't have any time to convert them into inches or uh, like 
or you can say meters in per decimals. So here's the height and dimension of the car. So when we talk about the length of the car, so the length is actually 4,345 millimeters. And when we talk about the width of the car, then it's actually 19,000 millimeters. When we talk about the height of the car, which this is actually very low. So the height of the car is actually 1,165 millimeters. So just thank me guys because I remember all of the digits and all. Just have a look at the height of this car. I'm actually 5.7 feet in height and just have a look at this car. It comes right here, right here to me. All right, so the wheelbase of this car is actually 2,530 millimeters. Well, the wheel looks absolutely amazing with this Alloy with, the, alloy with with this orange brake brake calipers, guys. Well, the Lamborghini sign is reversed on. But when we come to backward, just have a look at this. Here we have the wheel, and it matches the car in a different way because the car is all black. The wheel is the wheel is also black, and but the rims of this car, as you can see, the alloy wheels are in silver color, and the brake calipers in orange color, as well as the interior is also a mixture of. I guess it's a uh, light black, it's not a dark or jet black, but the interior is actually, uh, as you can see, the interior is actually a, a mixture of black and orange with the sign over here. Let's hop inside the car and see what this car looks from inside. Before going inside and showing you in the interior of the car, I just want to give you a bit details of what are some details or what they have given outside of the car and there is, you can say, the exterior. So over here we have a Lamborghini logo, plain simple with a bull over here. And yeah, I just want to tell you one thing guys, the Galaro was a very old car, but this is a new model. That is actually 2014, that's not too old, but the Galaro is actually very simple in design. As you can see, there's not much cuts and all, but when you compare it to a Ferrari, let's have a look at this guy. This is a 488 GTB. We have a lot of cuts, we have a lot of vents over here made of fully carbon fiber. But when we come to a Lamborghini, it's plain, simple and luxury in, it, in its own way. So over here we can see the wheels as I just showed you the black wheels with silver alloy wheels and with orange brake brake calipers or here with the, we can see the mirrors that are right now folded over there we can see the interior that is all orange and black with the Lamborghini sign over written over here and I just want to show you that how these doors open but before that as you can see there's a vent over here well Lamborghinis are famous for these vents and that's why they named the car Aventador that is a vent a door when you look at from this side and yeah just have a look at this coming towards the back we have the engine over here that, that I just showed you and when you look from this side you will see the inside there's a mirror over here that's the wall of a mirror that you can see inside that's a glass actually that's glass so when it comes to the headlights, this, these are also actually very simple when you compare it to a Ferrari or a Jaguar. It's not, it's just a square, uh, so sorry, it's just a rectangle. And with that, we have a Lamborghini written over here. Over here, we have a back camera, as you can see. And over here, we have four exhausts, two on one side, two on another side. Well, the exhausts are super, super loud, guys. Being an old car, not an old, I just want to say once again that this car is not old. This is a 2014 model. This is in absolutely phenomenal condition. The condition of this car is amazing, guys. And yeah, just hop inside the car and look what we have got inside. Now is the time that you guys have been waiting for. So I got the keys of the Lamborghini. This is actually the key to success. So we have got the keys and we are moving inside of the car. Let me just unlock the car. The car got unlocked and this is how you open the key guys. This is how you open the key. So let's move inside of the car and see what we have got here. Just have a look at the interior. It's made up of orange and black as I just showed you. So let me just hop in the car and show you what controls do we have. Uh, just a second. All right, guys. So I'm now inside the car, and it's actually very tight to sit in the car. So just have a look at the steering wheel over here. So we have a Lamborghini logo right on over here. As you can see, the steering wheel is very simple, and it doesn't have any 
controls and stuff but over here we can see airbags well this car car has eight airbags inside over here we have horns and stuff when you look at this side you'll see 8000 rpm as usual but the top speed in over here is actually 340 kilometers per hour over here let me just put the key in the ignition thing and let's have a look at this guys Lamborghini rain over here just let me turn the volume down so over here if you look at this thing so this is how you take the mirrors down I don't know why it's not working okay so I have to do it once again all right so here comes the back camera that I just showed you in the video so this is how you take the windows down from left from here right from here looks so premium guys over here we can see the SOS button over here we have the fuel tank something and over here we have the lights adjustment and all and over here if we come this side you'll see from when you press this button it comes in sports mode when it this come this comes in an automatic mode well this car is in Mario mode right now because as you can see these are the ship pedal shifters um, this is the downshift this is for the upshift over here and as you can see this is how you shift gear tuck 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 yeah this is our shift gear over here we have the automatic as i just showed you this is the corsa mode corsa is specially designed for the pedal shifter where you can use pedal shifter in like very sporty mode over here as you can see we have uh why it's not focusing over here we can just adjust the ac and all over here we have the handbag well this car is not uh, filled up with so many functions but it has abs as usual it has e d s and whatever you can say over there i don't really know what's that it's actually about fuel and the temperature of the car well we have ac vents three ac vents over here one over here one over there and over here we have a lamborghini logo written over here so this is the rear view mirror as you can see and this is the folded mirrors at the moment and the car looks very simple and luxury from inside we have I guess these are like this not, not leather but over here we have a Lamborghini logo over here as you can see a little bit of space for this side and this is the clutch you can see uh, I guess this is the like this is what you pull if you want to open the bonnet or the engine of the car as you can see I'm just sitting inside of the car and over here I just want to show you that this is for that uh, this is the lighter I guess and this is the handbrake and as you can see the interior looks absolutely amazing and phenomenal with it, with it, well it's actually not too much uh, like with cuts, with, with cuts and all but it looks absolutely amazing just have a look at this guys it gives you a sporty look with sporty seats and when you just press the you like accelerator this car goes shroom. and you want to hear the exhaust let me just call them and they'll show you how this car sounds and believe me guys this car sounds really really loud all right guys so now we are putting the key inside and let's see how this car sounds believe me guys this car is absolutely loud I know that this car was super loud but before I end reviewing this car I just want to show you one thing guys that how or how much space you get in the front of the car okay so I'm just opening the boot oh my god the space is so less guys you can't even fit a normal luggage in this you can just fit a business bag in this guys let's have a look at this guys and over here we have a Lamborghini automobile or automobile Lamborghini bag over here given with the car with a small light over here and if you come to this side you'll see there's some compartment over here to keep some stuff well the space is so much less guys well just have a look at this how this car looks 
then the front is on and there let me just put it down all right so i guess we are over with the review of the car i hope you like this little review of the car let's have a look at this let me just close down the door all right so let's have a look at the car the last time and this car looks amazing and from the this side also damn well guys stay tuned hopefully the next car review might be with this 488 gtp but for that i'm gonna end up today's video here so if you like today's video then smash the like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't already share my videos as much as you can and yeah visit this showroom rally motors rajori car and i'll put the links of the maps down in the description if you want to buy this lamborghini gallardo and yeah this is the key of the lamborghini gallardo as you can see and yeah peace out